Hey guys, how's it going? It's Aki Peter. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check out a puzzle type of game called Cubicity. Uh, this is the Nintendo Switch version, of course. Switch Shield R Us, hashtag Switch Shield. Anyways, let's go ahead and begin. Um, let's go ahead, we're going to start at level one. And uh, take a look at this. This game has very low budget graphics, first of all. We all know, low budget indie game. But, you know, sometimes these surprise us. So we're going to select character and uh, here we go booyah level. level one turns count good job so obviously this is catered towards a a younger audience with you know with the presentation so now you can see the count moves available the characters if you reach zero you lose so i can only beat this in six moves so we have a blue character and a brown character I guess to get to their icon. So, that was one. That was one. There we go. I guess I completed it, but I only got two stars. I wonder if that's because I accidentally moved the, uh, the, the blue one more than once. Let's just go ahead. Let's get there. Push A. We'll move this one, and I should get three now. There we go, we got the three stars. Just very peculiar about that. So here we go, we go, oh, we got three different characters here. So, what we'll do is we'll move one, two, move this guy here, three, four, move, move, I already moved this guy way too much. Why isn't he going in? Go in! Is it because of that plant? Yeah. I think that plant... Okay, so it was a little... I think that one little plant on that square was what was preventing my character from moving. So let's try it this way. One, two... Yeah. So you can see that little, like, plant icon? I actually was not able to move my character in that square for some reason, so we'll just go ahead and redo the stage like so. Alright. Place is no fence by jumping off the cliff. You go lose. Okay, so do not jump off the cliff. Alright, so, uh, oh, I literally just jumped off the cliff. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I need to do there is wait. What can you do, right? Let's go to level five. Continue forward. Looks like you can unlock different characters eventually too. Now I think the bird, yeah. So the bird can actually flap. Let's restart. So you gotta actually think of which character you should move first. Because your character will go past their spot. So I gotta put this brown guy there. So uh bird will stop. I guess that's why you see he's in the way. Rossi would have just kept going. If that makes any sense. So, I mean, the basic mechanics of this game, you know, it's easy to pick up and play, figure out. It's not, you know, some groundbreaking uh, gameplay or anything. Where I screwed up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move 
This guy. I'm gonna move him down here. like there's a lot more mockables. Yeah, look at this. So we have the cat. Whoa. That was creepy. <laughs> that cat noise was creepy. Alright, so let's see. Let's get the cat first. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier. <laughs> so, um, let's move this guy down first. This one's a hard one. <laughs> this one is one that's gonna make you have to use your noggin, boys and girls. I definitely see. that and less moves or not. <laughs> that would be pretty tricky. How many levels? It looks like there's a ton. Whoa, look at this. It goes all the way past... Man, damn near over 50? So definitely a good amount. Almost 100. Over 100, it looks like. Definitely a good amount of, of puzzle elements and stuff. And there's unlockables. I can I can actually buy a panda. <laughs> Look at that. So I guess there is some replay value if you want to unlock a lot of stuff. Get the piggy. Um, definitely easy to pick up and play. Sure, it's a lower budget title. Definitely aimed for children and stuff. So you know you're an, an adult man child like me is not gonna be like oh this is a game of the year. But I definitely can see a high degree of challenge as far as uh. The gameplay mechanics go and stuff like that but i'm gonna end the video right here you guys get the gist 
Uh, obviously, this ain't going to be everybody's cup of tea again. For me, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to play this game. For, but for what it was, I guess I was mildly entertained. It's not a bad game by any means, but it's not my cup of tea. Anyways, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Is this something that you'll pass on or something you want to check out? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out.